Hey guys, what's up? This is Perisex Clone with Reddit Storm. I'm just going to go and go over a couple of strategies which are very common in clan walls. The first one is going to be a Mass Dragon Rush roll -less. Um Now, the first thing to note with this attack is Bubba drops the Barbarian Kink up here. Now, this is out of the way of a couple of different defenses, so that allows his Barbarian King to survive just long enough, once he goes and rages, to take out a few key structurals. This is what is known as creating a trench and guiding your dragons. He drops a dragon down here to go and create a noble trench. So essentially what he's creating is a trench on each side, if you want to think of this as more or less a fire line to go and control the fire of the dragons. <laughs> That's a bit ironic. Anyways, you're going and looking at this from the standpoint of the game pathing engine. This is what is known as controlling the flux. The flux of the flow of units. This allows you to go and control the width and the amount, the speed, which the troops will actually go through the base. Um, and it really helps to go and concentrate dragons, to go and make sure that they punch into the coral. You use rage spells to help guide them along here. Rage spells help in doing this because they'll go and destroy everything outside of the rage spell very quickly, and then they'll move on to a building on the other side of it very normally. Um, what this is, is essentially walking your dragons through the base. Once you go and walk your dragons through the base, the best you can hope for is a 2 or 3 star, depending upon how many dragons you have left over, and if you got all the air defenses, then you should be able to go and take out the base and get a full 3 star, such as in this case. But if the base is far more spread out, instead of being as dense as this one was, you're going to be looking at a big difference when it comes to percentage of damage done. Typically, it'll actually be between 80 and 90 percent once you go and have a spread out base, which has been able to go and have dragons punch through the coal. Now, let's go and look at the width which he used. This width was essentially three army barracks wide. So that's a pretty normal width, which a lot of people use for TH8s. Um, you can use it only two, which is a bit more focused, more concentrated, but then you have issues with uh, two to three of your dragons going off to the top or going to the bottom instead of going into the core. So you have to be very careful and use those rage spells as soon as possible to go and make sure that your dragons focus themselves into the core. Once you take out the core, that should be able to go and give you two stalls. The one dragon which you dropped on the outside here will go and be able to get you that 50% very easily most of the time. Um, getting the three straw like this is much more harder to do because you have to be able to drop all the rage spells very well sequentially to make sure that they punch through the coal. Uh, can't really emphasize that point enough. You have to go and punch into the coal, wipe the core out, take out the AD, and then once you're done with the AD, everything else should be a walk in the park. Let's go on to a another attack here. Now, please note that that last attack used some balloons. We're going to look and see how Naden used balloons to go and do something a little bit different. Now, once more again, this looks like he's just going and organizing his attack using altars to go and clear out some buildings on the outside. This isn't where he's going to be dropping the dragon, terrible. This is where he's dropping his balloons. Now take a note on the design of this base. You have two weak points. You have the north hand side where there is an AD which is very easily exposed and would be pretty easy to go and attack once you go and take out the tower over here. And then there's this one which has an ultra tower leading directly to the AD. This allows five to six balloons to be dropped and go and take out that ultra tower and then it'll go in and take out that AD. This saves him a lot of lightning spells, and in turn, this allows him to go and use the same technique beforehand using the uh, Barbarian King to go and control the flux of his dragons, and then he uses a second dragon to go and control the speed and the force which the dragons are going to go and be rushing through the base. He did this one very wide, 
using two different groups of dragons because those two different ADs. Um, this worked out perfectly, <laughs> probably as he planned, to go and take out the two ADs quickly, efficiently, and then push on through the rest of the base. Note how he did not use sequential rage spells to push into the coal because he was focusing the rage spells on getting into the AD and taking the AD out. Um, that's very much so important to do in a base design like this where the coal is not directly surrounded by AD um, and that there isn't much in the middle to go and worry about. There aren't any focus um, defenses. The ultra tower is all on the outside, so as soon as you get the AD, it's typically a walk in the park to go and take out a base like this. Um, pretty much of the key thing to go and realize here is that most bases aren't going to be as badly designed as this, at least I hope not when it comes to anyone in Reddit Storm. You gotta remember that the pathing on a lot of units are going to go and allow them to do cheap little tricks like this um, to where you can essentially take out something which normally if it was a well designed base you wouldn't ever go and see it get taken out. Um, just remember when it comes to the dragon mass dragon rush strategies the Barbarian King is used to help go and control the initial attack and the size and depending upon what direction he goes is the direction you're going to be dropping a dragon on the other side. So if the Barbarian King went up and over, then you drop a dragon up here to go and control it and it depends upon where and how fast you want your dragons to go through it um, where you actually drop that false dragon. The dragon attacks are very much effective for TH8s. For TH9s, it's going to be a bit of a different story. You're looking at two stalls at best because you almost always have to go and focus your rage spells into punching into the core no matter what to go and get that TH. And then once you go and get the TH, you'll be focusing on the AD outside of that unless the AD are very much are exposed, which I've come across a lot of the bases which are terribly exposed, even for Clan Wall. So TH9s are pretty much the highest level you can really effectively use dragon attacks unless the TH10 base which you're facing somehow never went and built Inferno Towers. Single fire Inferno Towers are the bane of any dragon's existence so make sure to never attack any of those type of bases unless you have a free spell. If you have a free spell, tons of rage spells, go for it, have fun, see if you can get two stalls. Um, it's very rare to go and get two stalls against TH10s with a mass dragon strategy. Um, TH9s is very hard because that fourth AD gives them a unilateral defense instead of an asymmetrical, so it's less imbalanced. That balance is very important uh, for TH9s to go and have and control. And if they don't have that, then that base is typically going to be something which will be wiped out by a mass dragon strategy. But the downside to that is that it's not going to be three stalled most of the time. You have a huge amount of HP difference between TH8 and TH9 buildings overall. So you're looking at a difference in base density and size, which is why TH7s and TH8s are so weak to mass dragon strategies. The size allows the flux of the units to go directly into the core, take out the core, take out the ADs, and then the rest of the structures have little to no defense. Also, you don't have the seeking air mines, which are, they pretty much take out dragons in one hit. And if they don't, then the defensive structures can typically take out the dragons in a few hits after that. So that's, that's a couple of key differences to go and note when going and planning your attack against a base. Is it a TH8? Yes. If so, the Mass Dragon strategy is for you. Um, any thoughts, any questions, just post in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to go and answer them. Uh, as I said, this is the first video which I've done in a long, long, long time, so please forgive me if I'm a little bit rambling on. <laughs> okay, everyone have a good day. Keep on clashing, guys.